Hey guys, welcome back to Goldman Arts. My name is Joe Barlow and today I've got another project deconstruction for you. If you've been following the series so far, then you know I am attempting to recreate a visual effect from every single Marvel film. This week I've been watching the Avengers and I'm going to attempt to recreate Loki's staff from it. If you want to see these effects before I upload the project deconstruction, then do be sure to follow me over on Instagram, link in the description. But if you haven't seen it already, then here it is. Right, so this is the scene I took inspiration from for this video. We've got Loki using the Mind Stone, uh, using the staff with the Mind Stone in uh, to take over Hawkeye's mind and make him a, uh, a tool. So there's the effect there. We'll just watch that again one more time. We've got Loki using the staff on his chest and then sort of blue energy flowing from the Mind Stone, from the staff into sort of where his heart is. Um, and then what we see are this sort of, we see this blue energy just come up through his veins in his neck and his cheek um, and then eventually his eyes turn in black before they fade out and we see these sort of big blue eyes um, and not in an attractive way, these sort of got like this sort of galaxy look to them um, and that's to show that he has been mind controlled. So we just watch that one more time on 0.25 speed just so we can get every little detail. So let's skip ahead slightly to where it actually happens. Uh, we've got the staff being plunged to the chest, that blue energy, and, and that is, it seems like this comes from the stone and it sort of guides its way down. We see a couple of shimmers here and there, a bit of energy flowing through the staff before sort of meeting at this point here um, and then into the veins, into sort of a sub layer of skin there. Um, it is quite bright as it, as it comes through the neck. And then the next shot, we've got them sort of eating their way up here. And of course the eyes have turned black before fading out and going back to that, that blue. So let's see what I created. So here we are in After Effects. I've got two shots for this. The first is the staff hitting my chest with that energy. Um, there's a little bit of vein work that begins before the next shot happens and, and that's some more uh, blue layer of veins and the eyes of course before they turn blue. So we'll look through the first shot and, uh, and then we'll move on to the second. Now what we've got here is um, a lot of different things happening. I've uh, tried to split it up a little bit. So let's take a look at the original shot to start with. Um, just so we get an idea of, of what we're working with. So we've got me acting out as if I've just uh, had something plunged towards my chest and then, uh, you know, we've, we've got that moment where I'm starting to be taken over by, I don't know, magic or, or powers, <laughs> alien space weapon. Um, and I knew the first thing I needed to do was, of course, add in a staff. I don't have any sort of prop. I didn't have anyone to uh, to use a prop against me, so I just completely faked it. I found a image off the internet, and uh, and I just sort of animated that in like that. Um, it's a pretty high quality image, so it it, um, it at least looks real enough. Uh, I did a couple of things. A little bit of color correction to it. Let's just bring it on. A little bit of color correction to it because I'm in quite a dark environment. And uh, and of course, I did some shadows. Uh, it was something that, that obviously was needed um, to help sell the interaction. You can see those come on here. Finally, I did use a rotoscope just to get this last shadow. Um, obviously, I didn't want it to be sort of in this area or this area. So I, I used a rotoscope on my body uh, just to cut out my arm and my chest there. And what that looks like is this. Um, I think it was enough to sell the effect. Obviously, once we've got all the glows on there and the energy, um, it looked a bit more realistic than it does currently. Uh, so let's move on to that. Up here, we've got a few layers that dealt with that energy. Now, for this, of course, I started with a couple of flares. We've got the flare from the actual Mind Stone area of the... Uh, of the staff itself, and then a flare that interacts with my chest just there. I'm gonna turn off the uh, the staff flare for now, just so we can see a couple of things a little bit better, but we'll leave that other flare on um, because it's not hurting anything. And it, it sort of, it helps illustrate when it finally interacts with my chest. So for the energy, I created this composition here, and you'll see that it's just a bunch of sort of smoky sort of effects 
flowing through the staff. Now, what I did, I created an alpha mat for that, um, so it only happens within the staff itself. And uh, I'll just quickly show you this. This is just literally a bunch of different smoke and energy layered on together. And of course, what we've done when we've taken it into the shot is uh, added a nice color vibrance, tinted it blue slightly, and uh, that keeps in with that, uh, that blue energy feel. Now, I've also added an energy glow to that. Now this is just the same energy again, but this time I've feathered around the outside. If we just take a look at that, um, I've just drawn around the staff and I've sort of kept on target with that and just uh, just feathered it slightly. Uh, we've got a nice blur on that, the same color tint as before. And what that's doing is uh, is just basically mirroring that, that energy that's happening, but giving it a slight glow as well. And it just helps sell that, that energy bleeding from the mind stone and of course if we turn that flare back on we'll uh, we'll see that um, it all begins from there flows in to that other uh, optical flare there and then the final layer of energy is this one here and uh, this was more um, the mind stone itself now this is just some energy leaks that I've got from one of film riots packs I believe Likewise with this other stuff, and I thought these worked great. They're, uh, they're a good little asset pack to have. So what we have now, if we uh, just take a quick look through all of those together, is all this energy slowly building up and then feeding its way through the staff uh, before hitting me. So a lot of this has been done with asset packs and smoke um, and, and stock images of, of staffs as well. But, uh, but the sort of things like the shadows and the glows that's the sort of thing that helps sell these sort of effects once we've got them all interacting together. Uh, so let's just take a quick watch of that little section that's rendered in. And that's what we have. You can sort of see it uh, starting and then flowing through. Now the only other thing I've got in this composition is a couple of tracks. These are obviously to keep the staff locked onto my body once, uh, once it had taken over there. Um, we've also got this adjustment layer with a heat distortion and I like to throw this on afterwards especially when there's energy and smoke happening and this distorts the area around it and helps uh, sell that effect of like pure energy happening uh, rather than just a couple of sort of colorful smoky bits. Now as we go down the composition there are a few more things happening here because um, I wanted to make sure I started the, uh, the visuals of the veins in the neck before we move on to the next shot. And for this, what I did was grab a bunch of solid layers and I've created some advanced lightning with various settings of decay and, uh, and, and various different uh, movements. If we just watch these, you'll see they come on like this. And, and I felt like this was a, a similar way to how um, they sort of move through Hawkeye's neck in the uh, reference shot. So we can sort of see that that energy is sort of moving up and into the vein network. Um, and we've just laid a few of these together, added different blurs uh, here and there, and that, that gives that nice feel of depth. Some feel further into the network than others. I thought these sold the effect of a vein network pretty cool. So we went ahead and slapped those onto my neck there. Once I had that composition, uh, I duplicated it a bunch of times. Now you'll see inside of these, there's a bunch more effects. Now I'll just tell you about those in a moment, but before I do, let's just turn some of these on so we're gonna start seeing uh, those veins. And they're very faint, you see, they're just, they're just coming in there. If we just try and play through, you know, what I'm, what I'm gonna do is just turn all of this staff stuff off for now. So what we're left with is just the veins and we might actually be able to sort of see some stuff happening because they are quite faint. Um, this was just the beginning of, uh, of this effect. You'll see, there we go, I zoom in as well. They're just there, ever so slightly. Now, what I did with these is obviously make them blue. Um, I gave them a bit of a glow with, with various glows there and a bit more blur just to help blend it. But there's also this fractal noise and, and that's just to sort of help break them up occasionally because it's meant to be like shimmering energy. So I didn't want them to just be solid veins, which, which might have sort of, you know, they, they would have just been there, come on and stay. Whereas because it is this energy, I wanted it to sort of flow and shimmer a little bit. So that's why we've got the fractal noise on all of these. Now, I also went ahead and added in just a stock image of some veins, which we've got here. 
Um, and these act as some black veins. You'll notice in the referee shots there is both black veins and also um, glowing blue shimmery veins. So again, they're there, they're very faint. Um, they don't show up a lot in this shot, but we'll see them again in, uh, in shot two. And finally, I added a glow um, to my neck and this was just to make it look again like energy is, is flowing through my body and it helps uh, create this sort of sub-level of, of, of light, which we might see if you were sort of shining, you know, a torch through your hand. Um, it just made it look like that light origin was from inside of my body. And uh, if we go ahead and turn everything back on, like so, we end up with our full shot. We've got that staff coming in, we've got the shadows, the smoke, the glows, the interaction, and then of course the veins at the end there. Now, this was just the start of the, the full video, the full two shots together, because the second shot, um, we deal with more of these veins and the eye replacements. So let's take a look at that. I'll start again with the original footage. Uh, we've got me looking like I'm being taken over. At the beginning, I've got some form of consciousness with the oh my god face, what's happening before becoming a mindless drone. And of course, this is where the eyes will have taken over and, uh, and completely uh, have me under Loki's control. So, how did we create this? I'll begin by taking a look at the black eyes. Now, these I went ahead into Mocha and got a nice track of these. Mocha is uh, is a great tracking software. If you've not used it and you normally use the um, in-house After Effects stuff, then give this a go. It's fairly similar and generally gives you better results. So, I went ahead and got a nice clean track of my eye and all I've done there is added a fill. And once we've done that, if I just take a closer look at the eye, you'll notice uh, it sort of comes in from the outside and I've done that using um, an expansion. Did I use the expansion? Yeah, I went ahead and used the expansion on that uh, just to sort of bleed it in. So it takes over from sort of inside of my head until the pupil was covered. Um, and that gives me my black eyes like this. now. The thing with black eyes, if, if you've ever uh, attempted this effect, they look great, but they kind of just look like holes in your head at the moment. So what we need to do with these um, is add back a reflection, a little glint in the eye, which you'll notice eyes have. We're not just a pupil here. We have these little glints, the reflections of general light that's happening. So once we had the black eyes, I went ahead and added back those glints. And that was these two layers here. These are just white solids which I've tracked back in uh, using a track which I had on the eyes. Um, I've given them a little bit of blur and you'll see it immediately makes them look like eyes and I've just sort of kept that same position as the actual glints in my eyes, the real life uh, eye glints um, there. So another look at that there is that. You notice they fade out towards the end and that's because in the reference footage they do fade out and they turn into the sort of blue galaxy eyes. So what I've done is around halfway when the completely black solids I went ahead and added those blue things in. So there was no animation needed there, I just turned the layer on and then when they fade out those blue eyes are in. Now these blue eyes look like this. There is eye texture I found online which was pretty similar to Hawkeye's tracked onto my eyes uh, and I've just sort of separated it here. Uh, there is a blink in there as well which was kind of annoying. I wish I hadn't blinked in the footage but um, I worked with it. It wasn't too difficult to sort of work through and what that looks like is that. So I was pretty happy with both these eye tracks, the, the black and then the blue. Um, sometimes they can be a bit more difficult to get but Mocha did its job and uh, I was pretty happy with the outcome. Now the next thing I worked on was the vein system. We've, we've seen it already in shot one and it's generally the same, but we get to see it a little bit more this time. So let's start turning things on and just see what we've got um, and what we're working with. Our veins are broken up into two different areas, the cheek and the neck. Um, the cheeks are these pink ones and the neck are these blue ones. So they are built up with the same assets. So I'll just go ahead and turn those on. But what you'll see here this time is they're a little bit more bright, that they sort of show through a bit more. And I've used some masks to make them sort of float upwards. And that is, of course, where the uh, cheek ones come into play because it's meant to float 
through my cheek before my eyes turn into that sort of black solid. So I won't go over these again. They are built exactly the same. They're the exact same uh, veins uh, composition from before. The only difference here is uh, they're a little bit more brighter. They, they shine through a bit more. And I think I've achieved that um, by using add rather than uh, the lighten that I used before. Now those black veins again come into play uh, on the neck there and again you can see those a little bit better through uh, on this shot. So there's a bunch of masks going on making sure it stays on my neck. You'll see those fade up my neck into my cheek before the eyes actually turn black. Uh, mirroring the reference shot, I was pretty happy with uh, the way these looked. I thought it looked pretty great, definitely looked like veins. Really happy with the, the use of the advanced lighting to create those. And on there as well is this layer here, which I, I believe is a, yeah, it's a curves uh, that just adds that glow back in that we had before in the previous shot. Um, I've, I've done it again here because of course the energy is within my body. Now, the only other thing left to turn on is a quick flare. And this was meant to represent, you know, the staff that's just off shot now. Um, and again, a heat distortion around that staff because the energy is still happening, uh, I assume, off camera there. So the only other things left over that I've not turned on are uh, things like tracking data for eyes and, and the veins on the neck and the cheek. And that's what our second shot looks like. And that all together is, of course, that shot one with the staff, energy flowing in, veins, 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 eyes change. And that was the uh, Loki mind control staff from Avengers Assemble. There you go, that was my attempt at creating Loki staff from the Avengers. As I said at the start of the video, I am uploading these to Instagram before I do the project deconstructions here on YouTube. So make sure you are following me on Instagram and subscribed here over on YouTube. Until next week though, goodbye.